Hi internet, my name is John Holt. I'm the patron saint of distortion and all things guitar. <laughs> that, that's a little hyperbolic. Anyways, today I'm going to show you the Otris uh, Vital Tuner, which is an amazing tuner for Apple uh, iPad and iPhone. Um, I've been using it for a couple of weeks. It's amazing. Uh, what I love about this is how accurate it is. And it's actually even more so than many tuner tuners. So, good stuff. For you gearheads out there who care about what's in my hand and whatnot, uh, it's my Carbon DC 700 that runs into a couple of Mad Professor pedals to make me sound better. And that goes into a divided by 13 SR915, I believe it's called. I don't really know, I just play it and like how it sounds. So, that being said, let's take a look at the tuner. First, um, here's my iPhone, by the way. I managed to have it for a year without uh, beating it up too bad, so it's actually faring better than most of my guitars. I guess there's a perk to being in my pocket rather than in my hands, so uh, I'm gonna start wearing my guitar in my pocket. Anyways, I need new pants. I put that on my to-do list. Christmas! New pants, guitar pants. Anyways, here we have uh, the uh, uh, opening opening screen here. We have four different modes we can use. They essentially do the same thing, which is being an incredibly accurate tuner. They just look a little bit different. So let's take a look at the first one. Here we have this part obviously is the tuner. Oh, look at that. It tells you what note you're playing like you can read. You're a guitar player, you have no idea what all these weird lines are. Anyways. It's like the ninth time I tune my G string, it's still out of tune. Something about G strings. Whoever made the first guitar should have tuned it to F sharp. Just, just for the sanctity of everybody who came after. We also have a little decibel meter, and this is really an annoying meter. Like the higher it goes, the more annoying you are to everybody else. Guitar players think that this <laughs> is awesome to other people, but it's not. Everybody hates you. Don't do it. Shut up. Only play where you're supposed to. So the higher this go, the more annoying you are. Now you know. Here's the, I think I skipped A. about a billion degrees in LA right now so nothing stays in tune. Also what's cool about this tuner is that it can actually grab lower strings so as I'm playing a seventh string today my god my B string I actually like to tune the B a little bit flat because it's a longer string I hit it harder it, anyways um, so yeah now that I'm in tune let's take a look at some of these other modes stage mode which is my favorite is the one I use the most so we just pick it uh, click OK or click. Is it, do you call it click if you do it with your index finger? Ah, I'm still in tune. Look at that. But yeah, so this is obviously designed to give you a better visual of tuning, you know, if you're on stage, or stage mode. Um, make your life a little bit easier. That's why I like it, because it's really simple but very exact. You know, me being a guitar player, not too smart. If I was, I would have a real job. I don't, so, you know, here we are. Let's take a look at the next one, which is Stage Bright. It's the same thing as a regular stage tuner, but with a white background. So if you're outside playing, the sun is beaming down on it, you can't see a thing. Uh, this will actually help you out so you can see what's going on. Then finally, we have the Easy Mode, which is great if you're more of a beginner, you haven't played guitar for that long. It will make your life much, much easier. And, and the King of Phrygia, who made this tuner, by the way, Oh, tricks, look it up. Um, he shows me, oh, how do I do this? Okay, I click here. Oh, okay, let's do that. Instrument tunings, well, that seems like a good place to go. Uh, string instruments, well, I am playing a string instrument. Uh, banjo, no. Bass guitar, no. Shell, no. Oh, guitar. Okay, guitar, cool. Let's click on that one. Standard tuning, because I don't understand any of these other tunings. If I tune my guitar to anything but standard, I get confused and I cry, and, you know, it's not pretty. It, many, many nights at the ER, because, you know, it's different tunings. Anyways. <laughs> Oh my god! Look at that. That's yeah, beautiful. And I'm still in tune. You should also not talk while you're trying to tune because the poor tuner gets confused. Um, so that's just a, a little bit easier way of, of getting your guitar in tune. It will guide you a little bit more on how to do it. Another cool thing, and I've never seen this in a tuner before, is we have the reference pitches. So if you'd rather tune to reference pitch, um, here we have and you have different different kinds of waves. Let me take this up an octave. You know, if you want to do some Skrillex stuff. I hear that Skrillex loves C minor chords, so thank you, Skrillex. Um, 
Here's my favorite though. If I put it here, I can do this. You have the uh, theme from Bubble Bobble. It is like the sound is perfect for that. So, anyways, in short, all jokes aside, what I love about the uh, Vital Tuner is that it's incredibly accurate. Again, it's much more so than many of you know tuner pedals I've used and stuff like that. And uh, it's very easy to use. And if I want to really go in and, and dig in all the inner workings of it, say, uh, actually, let me show you because it's pretty cool stuff. We have a bunch of different temperaments if you want to go in and do that. Um, and there's also like user presets you can do if you have, say, a, a one of those tunings there's been a lot of buzz about. Uh, you can just type in whatever the offset is and whatnot. You can set the calibration to three decimal points, which feels like remarkable overkill, but if you need it, you have it, which is a good thing. You can set like the notation in all sharps, all flats, like so many tuners I've used, I tune down to E flat because, you know, I want to play Raining Blood, the whole album, in its entirety, it's in E flat, right? Uh, and it says D sharp, so when would anybody ever need uh, sharp notes for a tuner? Anyways, now you can pick if you want sharps or flats, or mixed, mixed bag, whatever is cool. Um, so you can really go in and, and, and get the, the finer things if you want to, but what you're going to use this tuner for 99.9% .9 of the time, it's, it's true, I did the math, uh, it's just a tuner guitar, and this one is the best I've ever used for it. Um, um, it's incredibly accurate, it's very easy to use, and it's super reliable, and you can get all those notes I normally can't get. So, Otrus Vital Tuner, check it out.